Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol DISCA for Discovery Inc., the A-class shares. On the left-hand side, we have the daily time frame, and on the right-hand side, the 30-minute intraday time frame. First things first, this will be the first time we talk about the stock on the channel. So let's start with a daily roadmap, and as I'm doing that, I can just point out uh, that the reason for today's huge uptick is largely due to an analyst in, uh, upgrade rather from Bank of America. We can also draw on a bit of a support trend line, and again, Again, when that happened, look at the volume that came flooding in. It may just seem like, wow, what a great stock to be getting into. Nice little uptrend is building here. However, I want to remind you of the past of this stock, right? If you look at what's happened here, we know that this was really largely due to what happened with Bill Huang and the Archego stuff, as well as Credit Suisse, right? Those guys had to unload this after that collapse. And it's been in a huge downtrend for like the past year, or you know, maybe not the entire year, but a majority of the year, it's been in a huge downtrend downtrend really fell out of favor here. So is it starting to perk back up? Maybe. And the reason I say maybe is because we did take out on today's session this prior pivot high. So could there be potential here for a trade to unfold? Yeah, absolutely. Right. If we do something like this, any sort of pullbacks that ultimately hold that, we have nothing more than a break retest. Look for the long back up towards these highs, 31, and then continuation after that. What would be the next overhead target? Let's go ahead and scrunch it up one more time. And that's today's highs. What do we have after that? The prior low end of this balance here here around $35.26. So that's what I'm seeing from the daily perspective. But again, please don't forget that off to the left here, we have some nastiness in its history. Let's take a closer look at the 30 minute. What you'll notice, perfect bull flag, right? This literally belongs in some sort of textbook here. If we take out the Fibonacci's and come in from the low of the day, all the way on up to the high of the day, beautiful pullback, nice and controlled right into the 38.2. So to me, that checks out as being bullish. As long as we sort of consolidate in this range, that's like rainbows and butter. Butterflies. Notice that we're above that 29 ish level that we discussed coming from right in here. That would be even better. Again, that's like scenario number one rainbows and butterflies breakout just takes you higher and you're looking for that rotation up towards 3526. Now, there could be some bumps in the road here and here. We don't want to get too nuanced from that daily roadmap. That's what I'm seeing on the 30 minute. If it starts to break down, obviously your first indication would be underneath the 38.2, the lows of today's consolidation. Uh, so let's throw that on with a regular level. Then we'll clean up those fibs, delete the distraction acting blue lines. There we go. So first breakdown, obviously, you know, we're looking for something like that. And then we're reevaluating at 29 for once again, the break and retest. If we go further than that, that's where things start to become more concerning to me. That would start to look a little bit more like a fake break. And I would start targeting the scene of the crime today as lows closer to 2719. That's going to wrap it up at least into the earlier stages of next week. We will likely revisit it depending on how this unfolds. If you enjoyed today's video or learned anything new, let me know in the comment section or by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget our main channel is linked in the description. And all of that being said, I wish you a green trading week.